Hi everyone, this is Rocio from Mama Abroad and today I want to do three things. Number one, I want to do a shopping haul from last week. Number two, I want to talk about the principles that have inspired my pregnancy style so far. And number three, I want to show you some examples of the best articles to have and to use to, you know, look good. Okay, so we're going to start with the haul. So first, let's start with American Apparel. What I got from them was this really cute skirt. I really like it because it's one of those wraparounds, you know. You can decide whether you want to wear it lower or higher. And it's really, really cute. It's, you can see that the fabric is really nice and breezy and it's black. So very easy to combine with lots of things. And then let's move over to Topshop. Topshop always has so much stuff that I like. And this is stuff that I got last week. So first, is this shirt. It's really nice because it's nice and loose. It's longer on the back, as you can see. I really like the design. I think it works really well with jeans or with black pants or white pants or skirt. Because of the colors, black and white, you can really combine it with any color. I really, really like it. So that's the first thing. And I got this other shirt, which is nice and loose, but very sweet. I'm thinking I'm gonna be wearing this with blue jeans. Probably needs a top underneath because it's quite see-through because of the material. But I really, really like the style. I think it's sweet, but sexy. Then I got this top. This is a very basic gray top, but as you can see, it has a bit of a, an A cut, so it's really nice because it's loose on the bottom. And then the fact that it has this like deep neck makes it a bit sexy, even though it's loose, which I really like. I already have that in black and I really like it, so I went for the gray as well. Then I got this shirt, this top, which I really like. It's long, very long, and again, it's longer on the back and it's a turtleneck and loose, but I feel it has a very sophisticated look that you can dress up by wearing a nice necklace and a nice pants or a skirt and uh, some heels, but it's also, it's very relaxed. You can also dress it down, I think, with some jeans. So I like it. Then I got this dress, which I'm not really sure if it's a dress or a top, but it's long enough for me to wear as a, as a dress. I'm going to show you. It goes up to here. And I really like it. It's, it's a pretty high neck. Uh, so if you wear it with a nice bulky um necklace i think it looks really nice um also uh you can wear it with tights dark tights if you don't feel comfortable wearing something so short or with really tight pants underneath it's really nice it's loose but it has a really nice texture that makes it look a bit more dressed up i wore that actually yesterday when i went salsa dancing it was a bit of a struggle being so short like going around but i Really, really like it. I thought it looked really cute. And then I got my first pair of maternity pants. So really excited. They're from Topshop. And as you can see, they have the elastic band at the top that gives you room and space. Around the back, it looks like a normal pair of jeans. I really like the color. And I got them one size bigger than I normally would have, just so that they last longer and I really like them. They're stretchy and dark blue, which I think is a great color for blue jeans because you can dress them up and down. 
Now that was my shopping haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you liked everything I got. Now on to the three principles that have inspired my pregnancy style. Okay, number one, I like things that make me look and feel normal. I don't like to feel too pregnant. You'll probably see this as well, but once you're pregnant, a lot of your conversations are around your pregnancy, waiting for your baby, and even though it's really exciting, you know, you're still an individual and you want to talk about other things. It can be kind of overwhelming. As long as I can look normal, I like to look normal. So basically, I like clothes that are not necessarily maternity clothes. Number two, I like things that A, are loose, like this top for example, so loose things. And then the second thing is I don't like anything with a cleavage that is too revealing. Now that is because in my case, my boobs got really big, so I don't feel comfortable showing them too much, showing too much skin. So anything really that is lower than this, I don't feel comfortable with. And number three is I like to buy clothes that I'm going to be able to wear after my pregnancy as well. I like to buy pieces that I like and that I can see myself wearing also when I am, you know, back to my normal size. And so, yeah, I mean, I know that that is not possible throughout the whole pregnancy. You know, once my bump gets bigger and during the last trimester, it's impossible to wear normal clothes unless you buy bigger sizes. But then in any case, if you plan to get back to your original weight, they're not going to be good for you later. But as long as I can wear clothes that are not maternity or don't look maternity and that I can wear after my pregnancy as well, that's what I'm going to try and get. Yes. So those are my three principles. One clothes that make me feel and look normal and sexy. Two, nothing that is too revealing or too tight. And three, clothes that I can wear after my pregnancy as well. Now I am going to show you some examples of pieces of clothes that have really worked well for me that are easy to combine and that make me feel really comfortable and match all three of my principles. There are basically three types. Number one are the tops like this one that are kind of like an A cut. You can see they go kind of like that so they fall. This is another example. They kind of fall so it doesn't, if your bump is not too big you don't even look pregnant and then after you are pregnant it doesn't really matter like it's gonna be cute. And they are really nice to wear tops underneath as well you know, to do the double top look. Then, nicer tops that are not pregnancy top, they have really heavy materials that make them fall really nicely, like this example from H&M, which again, like the other shop tops that I, that I got, I seem to really like, for, for this period, tops that are shorter on the, on the front and longer around the back. They're really, really comfortable. They're really cute. I like them. And I guess the third type of top are just sweaters, really casual sweaters that are not tight. This one is from um, French Connection. And I've got, I, I bought this one size bigger, but it doesn't matter, you know. It's still a really comfy, kind of relaxed Sunday top. And I like it to wear with jeans or anything like that. So that is like my tips on the tops, basically any A cut that falls, any um, fabrics that are heavy and even if the top is, well, it, it must not be very tight, it will fall nicely on you even if it's not an A cut. And that the tops that are shorter on the front and longer on the back. And number three, any kind of casual sweaters that you know, you're going to be able to wear later. Like usually sweaters are not tight anyway, so they're great for pregnancy. Any kind of skirt or shorts that has this kind of flappy front is great. They're really in right now, so you should be able to find them in lots of stores. This one is from Topshop. 
Again, I bought it one size bigger so that it lasts longer. And now that it's getting colder, I think it's going to be fine if I wear it with tights. And I really like it because even though my bump is growing, this little flappy thing takes attention away from it. And you still feel comfortable. Because your legs should remain about the same so you can show them off. Now, number two, any kind of pants or skirts that have heavy materials, again, so that they're going to be nice and they're going to fall. Elastic waists are great because then you can decide whether you want to wear it high up or you want to wear it low. But it's really nice. It falls, again, it takes attention away from, you know, your little bump. And number three are skirts that are really tight. The, the previous one is from Sarah, by the way. This one is from Topshop. And usually I would wear it long, like around here. If I put it like just under my boobs, you see it doesn't really take away from the skirt because it's long enough that it's, it doesn't look weird. And this will accentuate your bump but it's also a cute look. Once you have a bump, then you can show it off. I think it's tougher to decide what to wear when you're, you don't really have a bump yet and then you just feel like you look strange. But once you have a bump, it's great. You can wear tight things as well. So long you're not pressing your, your bump so you, that you wear them higher up or lower. So this one is from Topshop. And it's an, a straight cut. So you see, again, it doesn't have a cleavage, but it does show some skin on the arm, in the arms. And then the print is really nice and funky. On the back, it's just black. And again, it's a bit longer on the back. This is about knee length, and it's nice. It's just nice and straight, but loose enough that you don't really see the shape of your body. The same goes for this, this dress from Urban Outfitters. I really like this one though because it has like a double layer which makes it really floaty and it's kind of revealing on the back which is great. Then we have the A type dresses. This one is from Zara and this is basically just an A cut so it falls and it's really easy to also if you don't want to wear it so loose you can just put a little belt around it around your waist to kind of make it a bit more you know tighter then all the maxi dresses are great this one is from H&M and I really like it again neck is pretty high and then it's just a straight cut, but I really like that this has a pretty nice, like, open side where, you know, you see a bit of your leg. And then the last thing that I'll show, this one is from Express, and this is a tight dress. So you can surely wear it after the birth, once you get back in shape, and it accentuates your bump. So once you get a tiny bump and you're ready to show it off, then any kind of tight dresses, like pencil skirts and dresses, work really nicely. So those are my top tips. I hope that you find them useful and that you are feeling sexy and beautiful, because you are. And I will see you guys really soon. Don't forget to like and comment my videos and subscribe to my channel. Bye!